All right, we're back on the farm and there are birds here. Like we haven't been here in months. Cause we haven't. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Getting dust on my scope already. Oh boy. Yeah, like months, a couple so, months at least. Pretty pumped to be here, and uh, there's bird, birds. <laughs> there's birds. <laughs> there's there's birds pigeons. Everywhere. There's birds. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> you want to go for that one on the ledge together? That's at the bottom. Okay. I'm holding zero. Yeah, I'm holding zero as well. Okay. Three, two. Dead. <laughs> Straight dead. Oh my god. <laughs> that sounded like a double impact too. It was like wow. Nice shot, bud. Back at you. What are we at? 209? Uh 208 yards. 208 yards. And I'm shooting the varmint knocker slugs and you're shooting what are you shooting right now? Nielsen uh, 38.5. Yeah, mine are fifties. And you're shooting those kind of fast right yeah well these are this is the 25 cal right and i'm shooting these at 965 yeah and i'm shooting them at 917. that pigeon was very freaking dead oh look at this i'm still recording are you yep all right well let's just do it then all right you want to go for that bard right in the middle on the bottom yep ready yep oh we'll let him stabilize all right ready yep three two Oh, you jumped me there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna touch one MOA of wind from the right. From the right? Yep. Yeah, it feels like it's left. Yep. Right, I'm gonna fire one to make sure my height's good. Okay. Oh no, it's not. We were a bit astounded at first that our trusted dope was hitting that high, but then we realized we actually had a tornado warning and the barometric pressure was all over the place. So we adjusted, started making better hits. All right, go for the barred bottom center. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, Oop. dead. Fast. Yeah, you were, but he is so dead. <laughs> <laughs> dead. <laughs> that looked like a neck shot to me. Did it? Yeah. I don't know which one of us, Me knows, neither. but I know I shot before you did. Oh, you sure did. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> he's, he's jumpy today, folks. <laughs> yeah, I am. I haven't been doing this for two months. I know. Hey, buddy. Yo. First 10 minutes, two kills at 208 yards. We're a little <laughs> rusty. <laughs> it feels so good to be out here. Oh, my God. You guys, if I could only give you a sense of the warmth and the sun oh. we've been in the distillery non-stop like yeah. for months and uh every time we've taken the film it's been horrendous weather and uh i don't know i don't know what else to say man i'm just enjoying it just like you say just being out here this this weather you know we'll be out here in t-shirts finally yeah instead of freezing and we've got pigeons on the silo but oh, yeah, they're they're, they're kind of on the on the side and we really like to have that concrete behind them from oh, this angle so absolutely um, we're not going to shoot them until they come around but they will be patient son be patient yeah <laughs> <laughs> says the guy jumping the trigger every time oh, three God. two block <laughs> he needs some timing <laughs> For whatever reason, as you can see here, Norm's scope was a little bit fuzzy. And it's not the scope, it's the camera equipment. We were messing around with the GoPro and hit some settings we shouldn't have. And since we finally got the Nexus camera up and running perfect, we're gonna focus on my scope. All right, I'm settled in, holding two. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two. 
Oh I think I only needed one because I think I hit the left edge of them. Yeah. And yours just crushed with that one. I think. I mean, it happened fast, but. All right. Ready when you are? Ready. Three, two. Oh, legs down and off the back. Yeah. You want to go take a walk? Yeah, Make sure he's uh, down for the count. Absolutely. Cool. All right, so we're walking down to these green bins to follow up on that bird we just knocked down. Norm yeah. thinks mine took him clean, but yeah. I, I mean, he definitely had a little wing power, so we'll just make sure. But nothing really survives Godzilla, so no, I don't think we're going to have any issues. Well, heading to the back side of this uh, yeah. grain bins here. I went looking under there, and it was gross. <laughs> now, my, now my arm's got green crap on it. <laughs> oh, my jeans too. Wow, nice shirt, buddy. Yeah, right? Oh, holy smokes. They said they were releasing big news today. Yeah, I can't wait. Look, I sucked in and puffed out. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's just face us. Don't go. Don't turn sideways. Yeah. There's one right there. Well, there's one. <clears throat> this was the one we just shot, right? Yeah. This was the one from the... Uh, that had a little... Oh, my God. I don't know how I fooled it all, dude. Straight through. I mean, it was a little bit back. Oh, yeah. But, but, I mean, that thing went right through him. Yeah, big time. And with a ton of damage, so. Oh, yeah. Wow, he only made it. He was on top of that one, so he made it like 15 yards. Yeah, 15 yards. There's the other one. Oh, yeah. <gasps> that one didn't make it quite as far. <laughs> now, this one... Ooh. Looks like was barely hit, but done nevertheless. Oh, yeah. Nothing like hunting with slugs. Oh, my God. Hit them in the body, they're done. And then oftentimes they get lucky with an artery or something. I don't know how pigeons' wings work. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't. I just know that they're dead, so. Look at that feather. Oh, yeah. Look at it. It's like dancing. That's pretty wild, man. It's like that scene with the plastic bag in American Beauty. It's, like, <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I got it spinning behind your head, dude. That's so cool. It's, it's like standing right still, spinning behind you. That's what happens when they get hit with 70 grains of madness or whatever. What are, what are your? 50 grain. Mine are 50. Yours are? Oh, I'm sorry. Yours are 50. Mine are the 38.5s. <laughs> Nielsen. Almost 90 grains of madness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, we just retrieved those pigeons from down there and Norm's dialing in and I'm gonna get on my gun too because that silo right there has two birds in the perfect spot at 175. Right, so. Yeah, I had a hold right on the front of his breast. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two. Ooh. No. Put a sight real quick. It's coming from the left, one and a half MOA. So I'm not sure why didn't kill that one. Well, we took a break from the killing for one second to show that we didn't stay stylish for very long. Sorry, Thane and Donnie. <laughs> Yours is just as bad as all. Yeah, look at my. <laughs> Sorry, Justin and Austin. <laughs> I noticed it's really only on your belly. Yeah, I mean. It's just, like that protrudes more or something. See how my chest is? Oh, wait. No, it's just my belly, too. <laughs> well, it's, they're like dicky doos, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Norm spots the sparrow at about 75 yards and, well, 30 cal. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, there was a little difference. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's dead. I like that one. Oh my goodness. 30 caliber. Well, buddy, I think I've gotten my long range itch itched. 
Yeah. Want to go grab the compacts and see what we can do? Yeah, now we're going to do some uh, probably 50 yard. We may put one out 140, 150, but mm. with uh, Hades pellets. Yeah, who knows? 22 cals. That's our time for today. But don't worry, there's plenty of slow-mo replay, and you'll see these compacts doing what they do next week. Done. Done, done.